And the spike in cases at Ohio's largest largest public university was also on Governor Mike DeWine's mind today at his daily briefing. Tiffany Tarpley joins us live with that part of the story. Tiffany, I got to tell you, schools have been in now for a few weeks and we know that there's an incubation period with this coronavirus. So I really don't think anybody's surprised by this, but it's one of those here we go kind of moments. Yeah, right. We're starting to see those results, Betsy. And it's not just Ohio State. We are also talking about Dayton, Miami University, and Cincinnati as well. And the governor really wants us to know that these universities, they are doing a good job when it comes to testing. That is why we are seeing a 35% spike in COVID cases in people ages 18 to 22. But he also says students ignored the large gathering rules and now the schools and in some cases the counties they're located in are paying the price. Message to college students is the same message that presidents have had for the college students in, in pretty blunt terms. And that is if you want to stay here, if you want to stay in class uh, and have a college year, uh, things have to be different, have to wear masks, uh, have to not go to large parties. Uh, have to keep keep the social distance. And so DeWine also warned that with Labor Day weekend starting tomorrow, that we do what we do now will determine what our fall looks like. If you remember, we saw a spike in those COVID cases in July. That was after the 4th of July holiday. Well, we have to really think about the protocols here, wearing that mask, social distancing. You know, Betsy says it's not necessarily about where you go. It's about what you do and how you do it. All right, Tiffany, thank you so much for that report. Certainly good information.